Hi, I'm making this video because I've been having some problems with some of the EV3 engines and uh, it's a weird problem that took me a while to kind of figure out what was going on. Uh, but the problem itself uh, kind of manifested itself uh, in class. I have kids that are working on their EV3 robots and you know from time to time engines will go out and this is what I was noticing. All right, This particular program, I made a little chassis with uh, some of the engines and um, the program that I have on here is pretty simple. Go forward for three rotations uh, on the B and C uh, ports and then turn uh, one direction for one rotation and then turn in the other direction for the other rotation so that we can see what the problem is. So if I run the program, this is what the kids were basically seeing. You can see that it looks like this motor, there seems to be a problem with this motor. So what I decided to do was, okay, like anybody, I was like, well, this motor must be bad. So let me take that motor off and let me put another motor in its place. All right, so let's put this one on. All right, so that's a new motor. We put the new motor on, all right? And then we run the program and the same thing happens, all right? So I was like, what is going on with this thing? Right, so I had these new motors that were on. I knew they were new, like these two motors right here are brand new, but I was still having the problem, right? So I was trying to figure out, well, why do I still have this particular problem? That's what I was trying to figure out. It's still here, right? So I was like, well, this seems to be the problem with the motor. And then I was thinking, well, then maybe it must be the brain. Maybe there's something wrong with the brain. So I just, or maybe even the ports or maybe the wires. So I've tried swapping out wires and that didn't work. I did a firmware update and all this. And then one day I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to flip these wires. I'm gonna put, this is the C port for this one and this is the B port. So I'm gonna take the B port out of this one and put it in the C port and put the C port in this one and put it in this one, right? Which was B and I've crossed them. And I figured that this side would be the problem that I would end up having, right? So then I run the program, and I have the same problem on the same side, right? Which doesn't make any sense. So then you might be saying, well, then you must have a problem with the actual motors, okay? Or uh, with your program. Maybe your program isn't right. Okay, so let me take this off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put, all right, another motor on this. Do this, move this over here, and do this, all right, and move this over here, all right, and I'm going to put this on here like this, right? I'm going to take this one out, right? I'm going to put them in their original configuration now, all right, B and C, all right, and I'm going to run the program. Right? So you can see that they actually work. This motor was attached here, the one that I thought was bad. So I'd actually taken a bunch of motors and taken them out of service because I thought they were bad. But the thing is, is, it turns out that this is the bad motor. And it seems to be, I don't know how, but it seems to be sucking the power away from the other motor. And I called Lego and they say they've never seen this problem before. And uh, for me, I was like, like dumbfounded like I can't believe that and especially since these motors have probably been around for quite a while so the program itself works right right but the second I take this off and I say no nope. and now I'm gonna put this one in and then run it right okay just like this right and I run the program course it works now but given a chance sometimes it takes time for it to manifest manifest itself there it goes right and then all of a sudden you can see that there's way more power here this has a hundred I, I think hundred power but it's, they're set for 50 in the program, right? 
So I would have this problem with my kids where it wouldn't seem to be a problem, then all of a sudden it would be a problem. It took me a long time to figure out what was going on with this. Right? And again, it seems like this is the bad motor, but it's actually this one. It's kind of like a parasite parasite problem where this is robbing this and it's not the brain because I can swap out brains they've been in different brains and, and not worked and uh, this is kind of the problem that I had now unluckily for me I had another one that was doing the exact same thing um, so I'm just I'm posting this video for anybody to comment and look over uh, uh, what they think about what this problem is all right thanks